going on? What's going on? I don't know what's good with that lag, but um, it's KPGE. You already know what time it is. All right, so what's up, guys? Um, so I did the familiar video the other day, right? You know, I'm still kind of slacking. I need to be working on stuff. But um, today we're going to hop on over to Barracks, Manners, and Ephemeries. All right, so... I've been burning a couple people, you know, I got my leaders on deck, got my leaders on deck. My bounty dropped down, it's down to three million. Had to execute some leaders, you feel me? So, as you guys can see, I got these leaders ready to go. Let me release these little noobs real quick so they can grow. But yeah, everybody else is free to get ex executed. All right, so back on over to the main topic. All right, so... I've been getting questions from some of my guild members as well as other, as other subscribers uh, pertaining to how many barracks, how many manors, and how many infirmaries you need. Now, for everyone, this is kind of kind of a different thing. It all depends on your gear and um, it all depends on your gear and what your goal is, what you do, what you're capable of, how strong you are, what kind of heroes you got. There's a lot of things that take place in this. What's your research like? So, I'm going to get on with the construction. I really need to upgrade my buildings. I've been too busy burning people. Um, You know, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. But anyway, so yeah, I've been way too busy burning people. And I need to work on my buildings. Wow, you really gonna do this to me, man? Come on, Blitz. Come on, Blitz. It's a war game, Blitz. It's a war game, Blitz. That's what we do. We burn people. We trying to burn everybody so that way we are uncontested. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point of it. But, all right. I respect you. I'm gonna reply to you as um a subscriber. You know, I gotta respect my subscribers. All right, so, all right, boom, back on track, back on track. You know, I got to reply to my subscribers, bro, because y'all, the reason why I'm doing this to begin with. All right, so, boom. So, how many manners, how many barracks, and how many infirmaries do you need? Now, off rip, my main account, as you can see, like, in my rally trap before I made this, I only had two infirmaries. And I only had two infirmaries for when I was leading darkness and... You know, if I was rally leading, so that way my troops, like all my troops wouldn't die like that. But this is case, this is New Kingdom. There's a lot more things going on. If I get rallied, I can't, I don't, I might be able to eat a rally. I might not be. So it's it's a lot of things to think about and contemplate. So boom, my setup right now, as you can see, is one, two, three, four infirmaries, one, two barracks, Wait, did I count that? Two, three, four, five. No, five infirmaries. One, two, three, four, five. Math Marines, Math Marines. Anyway, all right, so I got five infirmaries. I got two barracks, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. 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 Manners. I don't know why I said it so many times, but yeah, I got 10 minutes. So right now I'm about to offer to bust this down and make another manner. Why am I making another manner? Alright, so boom. Start at the basics, right? And I'm I'm gonna try not to talk so much. Manners. The manner produces gold and increases back training speed. Pretty self explanatory. So at every level your training speed is going up and the gold production is going up. A level twenty five manner gives you a two percent attack boost. A level 25 infirmary gives you, what is it, 5%? 5% max HP. 
Um, your barracks gives you army defense as you level it and go along. Though. Um, where is it? Yeah, so as you level it to certain levels, you get army defense. All right, cool. So the reason why I have so many manners, I will create more, but I know I'm going to be getting attacked because if, as you can see in our kingdom, we got HRB and TG, all these different people. They're actually starting to increase in might now. So I can't afford to not have any infirmaries or like just two. I need to have like four. Four is a good buffer zone for me because that way, you know, once I upgrade them to 24 or whatever, I have a decent space. You know, I eat most marches anyway. But um, the reason why I have so many manners is because not even for the goal so much. It's for building my troops faster. If you're new to the game, you want to build as many troops as possible. Like, so for example, if you're in a new kingdom... You want to build as many troops as possible as fast as possible because the more troops you have is the stronger you're going to be to some extent you know research and stats play a factor but the more troops you have the less likely people are to mess with you now you got those big spenders and guys like that but if you set up your formation properly you set up your composition you have um adequate stats and stuff like that most people are going to leave you alone and then you can't forget the shield and shelter as well you know to preserve you so like if you want to go full manners to maximize your training speed you're going to need to shield and shelter at all times but if you're like me i got the squad you know <laughs> we deep kp all day okay let me stop but anyway like me i'll keep four infirmaries rest manners and two barracks now for example bambi bambi is right now the only t4 player in the kingdom so bambi would go more along the sides of just having one barracks because to train t4 you only need one barracks to train t2 and t1 you need two plus barracks you know what i'm saying so i need to build a lot of t2 because this is going to be a rally trap eventually so i need to build a lot of t2 so i'm going to have two barracks two barracks four infirmaries and the rest matters so that's going to maximize my training speed as well as me being able to save whatever troops I might save with the troops that might get wounded from being attacked or me attacking someone else. So people keep wondering, oh, people say, oh, maybe I should do all manners or I should do more infirmaries. And listen, at the end of the day, what I'm telling you is suggestions. Nothing is written in stone. If you feel comfortable having more infirmaries, that's you. Do your thing. Because when I'm done training all my troops and everything like that, I'm going to change all my manners over to infirmaries because you know you be in a rally trap you need space i'm not even gonna do it like my my main did because i would lose a lot of troops and you know it would save me a lot of time and resources and make make me take those speed ups and gems and use it on other things that would make me better so i said it to say it's like starting out i firmly believe that you need to have a lot of manners a lot of manners is the way to go starting out because you having a lot of manners is going to maximize your training training speed to train as many troops as possible. Now, when you get to a certain stage, like you get to a certain stage, like you know you're up there now, you feel solid, you have a solid amount of troops, and you feel like you're doing good. Then that's when you're going to start building your infirmaries up, and you build your infirmaries up, get your infirmaries to a certain point. You build your infirmaries to a certain point, and then. After you get your infirmaries to a certain point, then you start working on other things. Like, you know, maybe your spires and your familiar stuff. But that's just the way I do it. And it works best for me, you know. I don't have any problems. Like, I cannot be soloed. I would have to be rallied. Like, that's the one biggest thing you want to do. You want to make sure, as a player, you cannot be soloed. Nobody, no matter how powerful, should be able to march on you and zero you or burn you in one or two hits. You should not be able to be solo at all. So building troops and having the right composition and knowing how to go about things. Oh, he responded.
Yeah, so your your big your biggest thing is to make sure that your biggest thing is to make sure that you're not being able to be solo. You have to be able to stand up to a player setting a 375k march at you with no problem. So having adequate amount of troops and everything like that, because if you notice, you see in certain scenarios, if you watch YouTube videos, you watch YouTubers, and you just your experience playing. See, no matter how strong somebody is, they'll they'll look and like if they see anti scout or whatever they, they won't attack because they know they'll get captured, and that's why you want to make sure the person has to rally you, and if the person has to rally you, that gives you a lot more time. Like five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it takes to rally you, it gives you a lot more time to get online and protect yourself. Or if you want to eat the rally, like I do. But if that person comes in and souls you and cleans you out, that's it for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So this 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 is my method. This is how I go. I use four infirmaries, two barracks, and the breast manners. Once I get T four and all my T two are trained, I'll be dropping down to one barracks, four infirmaries, and the rest manners. That's how I operate. My bad, guys. So, all right, cool. But anyway, so yeah, that's that's how I feel about that. I'm sorry, this video is all over the place. You know, we got gaming and stuff like that. We've been attacking people. We're getting ready for the next while and everything like that. You know, oh yeah, I didn't even get to post the video of wow, we won. You know, uncontested. We got three days and five hours left. Um, you no, know, give out our titles and shit like that. Viewed our message. You know, we two for two. So I guess I'll just do. Yeah, I'll be promoting my YouTube. You already know. To check out my YouTube again. Okay, boom. Oh, I didn't even put the training boost on. Boom. Wait, what the heck? Bro, I just put the training boost on. What happened? Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Why am I not seeing? Unless overlords don't get the training boost. I'm new to this overlord thing, so like, don't bear with me, guys. <sighs> Yo.
Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see it now. Boom. Okay, there we go. So, 10% training boost. So, the ideal time to train your troops is you want to wait for, like, a hell event where it says train troops. Right now, it's research. Well, this one is train soldiers, like that. All right, boom. And then, also, if you stack one of these 20% or 10% with the training boost, with the, um... The hard ox gear, which increases training speed. Your lady gang, boy. Your, your stuff is about to drop down. Like, how long does it take me to train T3? 1458. So, basically 15 hours. And if I... Let me just sacrifice this 10% because I will I don't be using it anyway. And if I add that 10% boost, it, train, it goes from 15 hours to 14 hours and 36 minutes. So... That training boost, it really be going hard. You feel me? So be sure to make sure it, those are the perfect tra conditions for training your troops because that requires you to lose, use less speed ups to get maximum, um, maximum potential out of training your troops. So you can use your gems, your speed ups, and you get the most out of it. Um, I apologize for this video being all over the place, you know. I'm playing, replying, and I'm trying to do everything that I can. And I'll be getting a whole bunch of mail from people. Okay, bro. Blitz, blitz. I'm working on it, brother. I'm working on it. Working on it. I can't force people to release their, release their leaders, but I did try. Somebody wrote me hate mail. Why why do people always do this? Like, all right, bro, come on now. Come on now. Like <laughs> Okay, so you spent way too much money on a game, dude. Get yourself a real life game. Um, last time I checked, I'm alive and breathing, and this is real life, so this is a real life game. And you're playing it as well, so I don't understand how you're a Lord's Mobile hater, but okay. I'll be getting all kind of hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you this. Oh, this was this one was funny. That's why I saved that. So, hopefully that was informative for you. I know I'm kind of all over the place. If anything, just comment. Let me know to make another video, and I will. It's your boy KPGE. Okay, that sounded weird. All right, it's KPGE. Please like, subscribe, share. Um, hit me online. Comment anything. If you want a thumbs up or thumbs down, if you if you like it, like it. If you give me a thumbs down, tell me why you gave me a thumbs down so I can improve, make myself better, make myself better to you. I know my speech is all over the place. I'm sorry about that. I'm, you know, mended from all kinds of different things, you know. The English is not my native tongue, so y'all have to understand that. Yeah, yeah, man still is it. So anyway. Get back to it. Please like, subscribe, hit me up. You know, more actions on the way. As you can see, the kingdom is, ooh, yes, 425 gems. Boom. As you can see, the kingdom is growing. Um, Our enemies are growing. Oh, damn. My battery's dying. Our, en oh. Our enemies are growing. So, yeah. The next while is going to be crazy, boy. It's going to be crazy. So that's going to be a lot of fun to record. It's going to be a lot of fun to record. So I, I see you guys later.